Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm Zip. I already talked to you about fish earlier. I am gonna start over here today because you to buy some more cuckoos like I never bought any before. It does though. Thank you very much. I'll put them on your train for you. You might know already, but the cuckoos will run off the run off the carriage just hit. Some bandits even aim to hit your train and steal cuckoos, so watch out. And you do not, and I repeat, do not want to anger the cuckoos. You will regret it greatly. Alright, so, we are going to go, I aye, aye. <laughs> We are going to go and take these over to good old Aboda Village. Because there's someone looking, oh, there's still nothing going on over there. Very nice, very nice. There's still nothing going on um, on the tracks here, like demon trains and stuff like that. So there shouldn't be that much issue, assuming that you know I don't I don't get attacked by our. Uh, oh, I, I can't even look at them. I'm gonna try and get them off. I can't get them off screen. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll just avert my eyes away from them and hope for the absolute best. Okay, so. We've got cuckoos to bring, and I intend on bringing them because there's someone who really wants cuckoos for their business. What the poop are you guys? <laughs> yeah, if you ram into those, it doesn't hurt you or anything like that. But it was like, that's a really unusual situ situation there. <laughs> That happened to me once before, and yeah, you just, you just do not see anything like that often. <laughs> what they're what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to, you know, appear somewhere in your sight and loop around behind you and then trail you while firing at you. But <laughs> they just blocked me. <laughs> well, no worries, we didn't lose any of our cuckoos. Oops, and. Thus, we are still good to go. Let's even make them happy by blowing our whistle for them, but for that sign. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, unfortunately for you, though, we're going to have to do two trips of Kuko. It's like, what? What? Two tri Why do you need two trips? Well, unfortunately, you can only carry five at a time. If you try and get more, they just won't fit. There's not enough room in that cage. It's going to gonna cause all sorts of issues if you try and yeah you don't want to anger the kuko overlords so we're just gonna have to do it in two trips unfortunately so well at least two trips at best because if you lose kukos well it'll take more than that because you need 10 kukos in total so try and do your best not to lose your load at all Oh wait, I should blow up. Yeah, because that was a blue whist whistle sign, yeah. The, the cuckoos, they don't care much about the whistle. In all honesty, I'm just blowing it for the fun of it. <laughs> Alright, I should probably start slowing down. I don't know if I can judder them out of the... <laughs> out of the uh, cage there, so uh, I just want to do this as carefully as possible. That should be good, I think, actually. Yeah! Five cuckoos safely brought to a Boda village. But can I get another five there? Who knows? Oh, he wants to be taken over to uh, Beetle's place. Yo, Link! Oh, those are some fine looking cuckoos in your freight car! Think I could have them, please? No! Aww, how can you treat someone from your own village that way? Okay, fine. Fine, you, you made me feel bad. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks! But, uh, hmm, do you have any more cuckoos in there? Because these aren't enough. I'm hoping for ten cuckoos, so would you please bring me five more, please? Well, okay, but on the way back... Hey, how's it going? Oh, I've got a favor to ask of you, Link. I'm busy. Really? This is because of the pranks I pulled on you? I'm sorry about the bees. I'll buy you ointment. You should grow a sense of humor, sheesh. <laughs> Oh, I got a favorite to ask you. What? I've always dreamed of seeing the world from high up in the sky like a bird. I bet all the people in the village would look like teeny tiny ants. 
You know a place where I could fly like a bird? I do. What? Seriously? Then will you take me to it, please? Okay. Yes, I'll be waiting for you on your train. So, no, no, I'm not cutting back straight over to Hyrule Castle just yet. We've got to take him over to Beetle, because that's really the only place in the entire game that flies high in the sky. <laughs> and, well... We'll get a reward once we get him there, but let's see where Beetle is in relation on the map here. He's up there. I'm going to try and, I guess, meet him along that way somewhere. And let's see how things go here. Woo! <laughs> we do have to keep him happy, though. He's just as picky as any other passengers, despite, you know, you know, attacking us with bees, or getting us attacked with bees. But, you know, detail. We're just going to put that behind us. <laughs> I don't mind those cannonballs, they aren't gonna hurt us, I think. What? Oh, I wasn't paying attention to his sign. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everything will be okay, just... Just let me blow these guys up here first, we'll be just fine. Wait, 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 Oh, that was close. That was really close. Okay, so it looks like Beetle's heading down that way. Hopefully he'll keep going straight so that we can meet him up at the pass or something. Although he's moving kinda fast, so... Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, I kind of fibbed a bit as to which paths a beetle can take. I see his balloon over there. Like before, I said that he can take paths that you could not take. Well, in reality, what he does is he actually goes and takes paths that tracks could appear at. Like, if you don't have a track there, there is a... Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> There are tracks that he can appear at that, uh, okay, I got his attention. I mean, he can go down that, uh, well, oh, but, well, whatever, you're going to be happy once you get to our destination here. And if you don't have those tracks set up, you can't follow him because, yeah, so then you have to meet him up at some other location. All right, here you go, kid. What in the world? Where are we, Link? Can this thing fly? Are we going to fly? This is just amazing, Link! And who's the funny-looking guy over there? No, 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 I'm not a funny-looking... Neither is your joke. What's more, Beetle is actually quite the ladies' man, so there. <laughs> Behold my fine nipples! <laughs> Something a little weird about him, don't you think? Oh, well, whatever. Thank you for bringing me here, Link. And we get a force jam! Woohoo! Oh, Force Jam! <laughs> Alright, where can I doodle on the map to make notes of... Well, I, guess I, I could actually explore those tracks on my way back. Come to think of it, so I guess no cutsees again. <laughs> what? What is it? Why are you smiling like that? Okay, funny guy, let's fly! Really? Stop with the teasing business! <laughs> I think as long as I'm here, I'm gonna... I got 999 rupees. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, red potion it up. Woo! Yeah, now I'm full on potions again. Thank you. Can I interest you in anything else? Bye. Please come again. What's my point total? Ten points. Yay! Wait, what am I doing? I rack up 200 points. Become a silver member. We gotta spend a whole lot more rupees. <laughs> All right, so. New track straight through here. Go! I don't think there are any rabbits down these tracks, but we're going down them anyway, just for the sake of showing you everything. I, I suppose I should actually make some more marks on my map. I should say maps off camera to remind me of stuff as I go, but I don't feel like doing that many doodle, d that much doodling at the moment. So, yeah, yeah, we'll be okay though without any doodles. <laughs> You're going down! Haha, -ha, take that. Oh, 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 geez, oh, geez, oh, geez. Okay, it was a gold one. It's a gold one. No, it's a red one. I keep saying they're gold just because of that initial description that I gave of them, but no, they really are red. And I should probably stop with that joke before it gets old. So here we are on new tracks. And this is probably the best way that you can do. Like to get around to avoid the uh, demon trains if they're hanging around here, because they like to hang around these six loops here. Well, I mean, I mean three, three circles of six loops, and yeah, or, or actually maybe it's less than six of the combinations that they can do. It's like those three, and then that one, all sorts of yeah. <laughs> well, now we can cross 
the sea, which really isn't the sea, it's more like a pond. Maybe we'll go fishing someday. No, that was Phantom Hourglass, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've seen new tracks and it seems kind of like a waste to cut ahead again, I'm just gonna just gonna wait it out until we get over there and we can enjoy shooting the birds out of the sky just because, yeah! Yeah, they're completely invulnerable, but you can scare them away. I don't know if you can really do anything with that. I don't, I don't think I can even get anything with the birds, they're just something to interact with. It's like, ah! My feathers! Ah! And then they run off, well, fly off. It all is well until they come back later. <laughs> and you shoot him again out of boredom. Yes, I am! 50 rupees! Here we go! Woo! Let's go, go, go! <laughs> Uh, so I'm not going to cut ahead again, just in case I lose a cuckoo or something like that uh, along the way so you can see what's going on, the, the trials and tribulations you may face. Uh, I'm going to again take the most linear, simplest route. Hopefully there's no demon trains. Good. Good. Delightful. That sounds good to me. <laughs> All is looking clear. And you know what I, sh I should do here? Um... Uh, there's wood over there. <laughs> just use that arrow as an indication. That's where you get get yourself some wood there. And just even though you, I probably don't even need to mark it there at this point, but well, for the sake of the marks that I was telling you about that I should be marking, there we go. <laughs> like I forgot to mark the treasure chest when I was back over here for whatever reason. But well, but well. I got it anyway! I remembered to get it, and all was okay. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. You are not. You are not going to knock the cuckoos out of me. What? Again? <laughs> what an unusual corner. Like, every time I go along this area, something weird happens. I get cornered by demon chains. I, I get... I get rammed by tanks, which has no effect on me whatsoever. <laughs> Just, I'm trying ma mainly to, to not take any damage here because, you know, the cuckoos and whatnot. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're back on track. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> I'd also like to stop um, back over here when I come another way along. Well, actually, actually, you know what? I could divert my path and go there really quick on my way back, I suppose. Because uh, I'm just going to end up turning my train around anyway. So I guess I can multitask a little bit. The cuckoos will just sit around there eating some seeds and stuff like that. It'll be a good time. And besides, I've still got to get a stamp over here at Whittleton. So yeah, I'll, that's what I figured. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Let's, let's do it. They'll just hang out over there, having a good time, enjoying the sunshine. Uh, I won't chat with the peeps. I'll just go straight to the destination that I would like to go to. There's a mini game coming up here, so be prepared with your stylus. For there will be a lot of tapping with the whip. As you know, you need... Well, also remember this. You can whirlwind those to potentially get stuff out of that, but... Alright, stamp station first. I didn't mark that on the map either. Wow. Alright, I guess it doesn't really matter, but anyway, I got 10 stamps now, so that means I can go over to Nico and get a prize from him. I believe the first one is a heart container, so that'll be nice when I get down over there and deliver the cuckoos. But let's let's give a little like exploration going on around here. Let's get a little treasure chest. Ooh, delightful. Woo! Um, I could just be blowing these leaves all day, but... Yeah, I, uh, I don't think I have to, and it's just like breaking pots all day long, just, yeah, treasures are, I mean, the rupees you get from it and stuff like that are nice, I suppose, but if I really want to grind, I'd prefer to do that off camera, <laughs> for obvious reasons, and I don't think there's anything like around this way. Yeah, I'm just doing I'm just doing the loop de loop for the heck of it. I'm getting some nice hearts out of this though, like by killing the critters, so that's always good. Maybe I should ram myself into some trees, like some singular trees. Just for the sake of completion's sake, like maybe there'll be something that can drop out of there. Cause you don't you like you can't 
You can- I guess you can ram into those side ones. I thought you couldn't ram into those to get a prize. Well, maybe you can't get a prize out of them, but you can- you can ram into them. Alright, so this right here... I'm glad you found us all the way back here. This is the ultimate place for thrill seekers and locals who like to hang out. Get it? Get it? Because are you going to use a whip? <laughs> Try your hand at a whip race. It's just 50 rupees. Sure. Listen up. I'm going to explain how to play. There's only one rule. Use your whip to swing across the finish line. If you get a good time, you receive a prize. Okay, off you go. Prepare your body to whip. It's automatically selected for you, so just tap, tap, tap the red noses forts like crazy and tap the logs that you can grab on as soon as you see them. And now it's, it'll be automatically deselected. Also be on the lookout for any sort of thorns that you might have to get rid of along the way too, because that is a factor. Alrighty. So yeah, I was side questing this game because of the lengthy distance between places and, you know, of course if you don't have stuff that's opened up along the uh, the way and whatnot, like the warp gates, you might might take a lot longer and, you know, it's still early game so I don't really have that many warp gates in any sort of convenient location for the stuff that I'd like to do. Ooh, that's a tricky one because it's one of those lower ones that you've got to forcefully let yourself fall. Alright, out of my way, out of my way! Faster, faster, faster! Yeah! I gotta get rid got get rid yeah, gotta get rid of both of those for victory. And by the way, there's some slowdown going here, but that might actually help me a little bit, perhaps, maybe, might be, but it's still doable even without the slowdown. But then again, it might not, because maybe it'll throw off my timing when it decides to speed back up. Because you know how sometimes slowdown can do its thing like that. Uh, can I like, yeah, I thought I could do that one. That seemed close enough for my whip to whip. So yeah, I'm aiming for that high score at the bottom left corner bottom left corner there. Whoopsie doodle! I hope I didn't waste too much time there, because you gotta be relatively precise at this. But that was only a couple seconds, so I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I don't think I have much of a choice other than to keep going. This perspective right here is, it looks like it's gonna be weird, but it's actually pretty cozy, because you could touch anywhere along that line, and you will find success. Yeah! See, I didn't waste that much time. You crossed the finish line for the first time! Good job! Your time was 117.80 Four. That is not a world record, clearly. Wow, you beat the average. Passable effort. You should keep practicing. And I get a big bomb bag. See, this is where I thought I was going to get the first bomb bag, but no, no, you can get one here. <laughs> Come by again! I think now you just get treasure if you were to play it again. Um, I guess I could try to beat my high score here. Just just one more time. No, I'm good. We, we got that before. <laughs> Just to see what we get out of it. I'm pretty sure I can do a little bit better than that because I I just got to avoid falling That should be a simple procedure Especially since there's some nice slowdown going on here helping me out and whatnot By the way, I'm just mainly keeping my stylus at about the same spot when I do these swings because um, You'll notice that they're generally about the same distance away at each Point there, yeah, except for the lower ones. Those are the ones that you got to move the stylus for, but for the most part, I just kind of keep it there and mash away when it gets underneath my stylus. Just like that. I think there are some variations to the uh, uh, post position, though, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong about that, though, because I thought that the, the drop one. Oh, no, here's the drop one. Okay. Well, maybe there's no posts post variation, but that is okay. It just makes things even simpler for us. <laughs> Why is the camera getting... Eh, it doesn't matter. I can see that side of the screen anyway. Doesn't matter as long as I can see just enough. That's the game's fault for putting the camera that way, not mine. <laughs> not really not really much in the way of camera control in this game. <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, and it's, it's really just the um, train segments that have any sort of camera control because the idea of that is, you know, to defend yourself from all sides from the villainous demons that come along your way and whatever else you want to call them. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. Just don't fall and I should break the record. There we go, there we go. I'm just, see where I'm holding the stylus? I just tap when it goes underneath there. Yep, a little bit better. Four seconds better. 
Nice work. Not a single miss. Wow. Your time was 113.01. Oh, you broke a record. Nice. <laughs> That's a pretty good time. I'll give you this for your efforts. And I get... Oh, a heart container. So I guess you do get more than... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. How did I forget about that? I'm glad I played this twice. Maybe I should do it a... Uh, third time. Oh, yeah. Maybe... Uh... Uh... No, I was gonna say, oh, maybe, um, maybe I did, I mean, I, I mean, obviously I do, did get one here before, but I just didn't remember getting one here before. Then it would have been one of those situations where I would be like in a future part, oh, I forgot, I forgot to get the hard piece here because I left thinking that there was only treasure here. But no, no, there was actually a hard piece if you get all across without falling once, and yeah, I, I think that was actually the criteria that I completely forgot about. Yeah, I think it's because this is a relatively easy mini game, so I, I didn't really have much issue with it. I just kind of, just kind of got all the prizes out of here. Oops, out of here the first try, or first couple tries. But I don't, I don't know what happened there. I'm sure I was touching the the log, but well, <laughs> I already got the heart piece though, and I don't, I don't think you'll get two heart. I should say heart containers. I don't think you'll get two heart containers from the same place. That doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be the sort of thing that. Uh, is very Zelda-like. <laughs> usually scattered all around the world. But yeah, I don't... Oof. I'm definitely not going to beat my best time with a run this sloppy. <laughs> but basically, I'm trying to go faster. That's why I'm messing up so much, I think. I mean, maybe I thought I was touching the spot, but I wasn't. You know, I was just kind of like flailing on ye old touchscreen. And yeah, flailing is not precision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to. Well, that's even more a waste of time then. <laughs> Does, it doesn't show my health though, but is it, like, is it possible to die here? Like if you could take damage from the thorns? I never really thought about that before because it's not showing your hearts. It seems like that the thorny hit was just mainly to lose time it more than anything. And I, and I wasn't paying attention to what my health was before I restarted this minigame for the third time. But yeah, I just want to see what prize I get out of this. You could probably get better prizes if you uh, get a perfect run over and over. And yeah, nice work. Your time was the one eighteen thirty four. You suck compared to that last one. A passable effort. You should keep practicing. Practicing. Ah, uh, yeah, treasures now. Alright, come by again. I may. <laughs> like, if I need more treasures, I might do that. <laughs> but for now, let's just get out of here. We've got 10 stamps, which means we could say hi to you, Nico. And we've got a trailer full of cuckoos that are probably getting mad at us by now. <laughs> But that's okay, because we had stuff to collect here, even more than I thought that I had to collect here, from my memory. But that is okay, because we got it anyway. <laughs> oh, no, no, Zelda, 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 thank you. <laughs> yeah, they're still there. Yes, I do, and it'll automatically turn the train around for me. Isn't that nice? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> There's no turny turntable like there is at the Tower of Spirits. Oh, no, 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 no. It just automatically flips itself. <laughs> That's why it's a spirit train. It uses the power of spirits to flip itself or something like that. that, that, that that's, that's my best explanation as of this moment. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna still on... <sighs> Tanks again? We're still gonna be on the lookout for stuff that might destroy our kukos. <laughs> well, try and steal our kukos, I should say. Alright guys, alright guys, I got one down already. Two to go. Wow, I took care of you guys fast. <laughs> that works fine for me. <laughs> Delightful. Alright. The last trip and hopefully there won't be a sneak attack enemy. I am... I am mainly watching the top screen more than anything and you probably should be too because that's your main cue as to where you should be looking when an enemy appears or whatnot, so that you can start firing at them as soon as you possibly can, but I'm primarily just keeping the camera at the bottom screen nice and low and forward so I can kind of get a look as to when I should start slowing down so I don't knock Kukos out of their carriage. And I think I can start pausing. And it looks like a, a smooth enough stop. Is that going to be good enough? Yeah, that's good enough. I guess you can be a little bit off on the edges up to a certain point. All right. 
Oh, Boda Village! Once again, don't look at the bees directly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, oh, look at all these beautiful cuckoos. Thanks a bunch. Force jump time! Prepare to write on your map as to where the new tracks will appear. There could be a rabbit, there could be a new a new location for us to dock at. Who knows? Uh, that's actually pretty... Well, I was going to say it's kind of out of the way of where I'd like to go next, but... Eh, mm, well, I'll, I'm sure I'll eventually start up over there. Can't wait to start my cuckoo farm up now! Cuckoos are so beautiful. I could watch these noble beasts forever. <laughs> if only you knew. If only you knew the power that they have inside. Uh, that should be good enough. I just I just outlined the the track area so I know. All right, ten stamps, Nico. I've got gotcha. you. I've got your dream right here on paper. <laughs> Great to see your back, Link. Have you been finding lots of good stamps? Wow, did you really collect 12 stamps for little old me? Yeah, I, I passed the 10 threshold, but it, it's 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 10, 15, and 20, uh, basically, for that. Thank you. In return, please take this. Woo! Shield of Antiquity! So that wasn't a heart... Uh, a heart piece type diblet. Uh, yeah, I mean, a heart container like I thought. Well, that's okay. <laughs> A shield once belonged to an old friend of mine from my adventuring days. Seeing you with it takes me back to when I was young. Sorry if you already spent money on a shield. Just leave it here with me. Dang it! <laughs> Finally I knew! <laughs> Offhand, come back if you ever want to switch shields. So it's, I think it's mainly just a uh, uh, aesthetic thing. You know, a, a skin thing if I recall correctly. Nero. Uh, the shield of Antiquity. Eh, I guess I will keep that because I earned it. So I will keep that out and uh, it'll probably get eaten by something else. <laughs> another another like like or whatnot. And I think I oh wait, hold on a sec. Alfonso's place is open. No. <laughs> hey Link, if you want me wanna change up your train, leave it to me. So yeah, I don't have any sort of pieces or anything like that so this is another place that you can use I mean that you can change your cars and yeah yeah I guess this opened up when I uh, um, went and bought I mean I went, went and finished the lineback costs and whatnot and he started selling those for treasures and stuff like that but anyway I'm gonna end off the part here I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part when I probably do more side quests <laughs>